Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Empires of the Undergrowth. Well, actually, no we're not. I know you're like, what are you talking about? I see the Empires of the Undergrowth screen right there. What do you mean you're not going to play it? Well, here's the thing. I'm getting a lot of comments, and I enabled them as a test to see, you know, <laughs> what kind of response I would get. Why aren't you upgrading your ants? Why aren't you upgrading your ants? Why, why aren't you upgrading your ants? It's it's better if you upgrade your ants. Why don't you upgrade your ants, Vince? You should upgrade your ants. You should upgrade your ants. You will upgrade your ants, Vince. You should. You will upgrade. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm here to tell you why. No, I'm not going to upgrade my ants. And there's actual, no nonsense, math behind it. Yes, math. Yes, kids. That thing that you did in school, math, if you can add and multiply, you'll be able to figure this out along with me. And I'm using a very cheesy PowerPoint presentation, so bear with me. So yeah, we're going to do some math today. So I hope you kids are ready. I hope you kids have your thinking caps on. So we need data. Where are you going to get this data from? We, we need to know the strength of the ants and what their where health is and what their damage is on the tier one upgrade, the tier two upgrade, and the tier three upgrade. Well, on the forums, I found a post from 2020 from the developer along with several links, creature stats. So I downloaded that spreadsheet. Just to sort of fact check these stats, this, this spreadsheet was okay. Uh, it's very, well, spreadsheet heavy. I mean, if you've kids have opened up Excel once or twice, you'll know how very plain and very, uh, you know, data heavy and bland it looks, right? Well, there's also a wiki. So I, as a second form of data verification, I went to a wiki. Now, th this this post says eventually these stats will be in the game in the form of a wiki system. I checked. I did not see an in-game wiki. Instead, I found an out-of-game wiki. So I'm guessing this in-game wiki is something that they were looking to do at some point, but I guess they never did. So anyway, um, I used the wiki numbers for this because if you click on the different ants in this wiki, you'll see the cost, the health, movement speed, score, Harvest amount, healing speed, vision radius, AOE resistance, immunities, basic attack damage, and so on. So I'm like, okay, so let's math it. Let's use these numbers. And, and so you can understand how this is supposed to read. The first number is the tier one upgrade. It's just whenever you build your ant, that's the, that's the value. So a level one black ant soldier has 50 health. Okay, a level two black ant soldier has 60 health. A level three black ant soldier has 70 health. So we can use these numbers to calculate how efficient it is to actually upgrade. Okay, and let's, I, I did all that for you. Okay, so that you kids wouldn't have to figure this out. Okay, so black ant soldier. Let's, let's take a look at the black ant soldier. It costs 50 food to build a level one ant. To build one level one ant, it's 50 food. To upgrade that ant from a level one to a level two, it costs another 50. That five, that slash five is not an upgrade cost. That is, if the ant dies or needs to spawn, it costs five food to replace it. I'm not even gonna bother with respawning numbers here because they're the same whether they're level one, level two, or level three. It's always five food to respawn this black ant soldier. But anyway, so what you have here is a level one ant costs 50 food, a level two ant costs 100 food, and a level three ant costs 150 food. Okay, so what does that mean? The cost ratio. The cost of a level three ant is three times the cost of a level one ant. Remember, three to one. Okay, is that worth it? We'll find out. That that's why we have numbers. That's why we have math, right? So let's continue on. So let's take a look at the health of a black ant soldier at the various levels. So as a reminder, I wrote next to each line how much food it would cost. A level one ant has 50 health, 50 food. A level two ant has 60 health, 100 food, 
Uh, and then finally, level three at 70 health, 150 food. So again, 150 food is what you need to spend in order to get that level three in. So in the big picture, again, keep in mind a three to one ratio here in terms of food efficiency. 90 level one ants are the same as 30 level three ants because again, three to one. Okay, the cost, the cost, the cost of building 90 level one ants is the same as building 30 level three ants. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to factor in adjacency bonuses and building speed tiles to get those outer ones upgraded. To I'm not even, I'm not even going to bother. Okay. For reasons I'll explain later. Okay. But for right now, let's just look at it. 90 level one ants have one level one ant has 50 health. Multiply 90 times 50. And that gives you 4,500 health. A group of 90 level one ants total have 4,500 health. Whereas 30 level three ants, because again, cost efficiency times 70 health is 2,100 health. So a group of 90 ants has 4,500 health and a group of 30 level three ants has 2,100 health. So in terms of blobs, just a blob of ants, the 90 level one ants have more health. Yeah, B math, okay. <laughs> In fact, I mean, uh, multiply the level three, 30 times two, 20, 2100 times two is what, 4200? That's not even half. 2100 is not even half of what the 90 level one ants have in terms of total health. So that's one thing to, to consider. Uh, let's take a look at damage. Take a look at damage. One level one ant does 3.6 damage. And if you look at the attack speed uh, right below it on the bottom left, it says one. So it just, I'm just going to assume just one. I'm not going to multiply it by anything. So one level one ant does 3.6 damage. And again, that costs 50 food to build one of these level one ants. Level two ant is 4.4. Level three ant is also 4.4. But you also have to keep in mind at level three, look at their attack speed. It is 1.6. So you kind of have to do some extra math on the bottom there. 90 level one ants times 3.6 is 324 damage. Okay. That's, that's the math. And again, 30 level three ants. And again, only 30 because of that three to one ratio, 30 level three ants times. And now you have to put this in parentheses to, to sort of, cause right now the attack speed is 1.6. So you kind of have to convert the attack speed of the level three ants into the level one. It's just how math works. Common denominators, it's a fraction thing. So 4.4 is what it does per second times 1.6 is the attack speed. So you multiply the two together first to get a number. So then once you get that, you multiply it by 30 and then that gives you 211.2 damage. So again, you're left with larger ants here the 90 level one ants does more damage than level three 30 level three upgraded ants even though the attack speed is slightly greater at level three the larger group will do more damage as a whole compared to the level three ants okay so that's damage for you let's let's move on to a different ant type let's look at the leaf cutter ant media and the cost is one level one ant is 80 food and to cost upgrade it is 80 food. So what you have here, one level one ant is 80 food. One level two ant is 160 food. One level three ant is 240 food. Again, three to one. Keep that in the back of your mind. There's a three to one ratio there when it comes to cost. All right, moving on. So health wise, 90 level one ants are the same as 30 cost wise, the same as 30 level three ants because of that three to one. So 90 level one times 100, if you look on the left, it says health 100, that's 9,000 health for those ants. Uh, collectively, those 90 ants have 9,000 health. Now the 30 level three ants times the 130 is 3,900. So yeah, not even half of 9,000. Same with the damage, 90 level one ants times 4.5 on the bottom left, it says damage. That's 405 damage, 90 times 4.5. And then again, 30 level three ants. And again, you've got to account for the, uh, the attack speed. So first you take seven 
which is the damage, and then times it by the attack speed 1.3. 7 times 1.3, then take that number and multiply it by 30, 273. So again, these level 1 ants are superior when it comes to cost efficiency. All right, now you can take that math and apply it to the other ants found on the wiki. So, you know, big-headed ant miners, the wood ant worker, you can see and do the math. Level 1 ants are going to be superior cost-wise, okay? Um, there is an exception, and I thought it was going to be a huge exception, but it's really not. The fire ant soldier can be upgraded to become pervasive. Uh, it, it's like a, you know, it's one of those abilities that you can upgrade the, the ant types with. Ants will become free to hatch if the egg has been on the tile for a short period of time before hatching. At level 3, the tile can support two ants. There's a little bit of extra math here to factor in. So let's take a look at the very top, the cost. One level 1 ant is 40 food, and one level 3 ant is 120 food. But we have to remember, at level 3 it has an ability. It will spawn a duplicate of itself. So 3 to 1 for the food cost, but it doubles at level three. So we have to remember that particular ratio, okay? So that that's why down below we have a 90-60 comparison instead of a 90-30 comparison. The cost of 90 level one ants will be the same as 60 level three. Again, if you want if you want to sort of think about it this way, the ratio is 90-30, okay, because of three to one, right? But again, at level three, that that ant doubles. So the, that 30 becomes a 60. That's why it's now a 90-60 comparison. So now you've got health. 90 level 1 ants times 30 health is 2,700 health. And 60 level 3 ants times 50, based on the numbers on the left, is equal to 3,000. So slightly, there's a slight benefit, a very slight benefit to having the level 3 fire ants because of that doubling ability that they've got. Basic attack damage. Now, this was surprising to me. You'll note that the Fire Ant Soldier does not have an increase in attack speed on Tier 3. If you look on the left on the chart, it says attack speed 111. And that's for the, that's for the mounting, basic attack. All, there's, there's, no, there's no attack speed increase. So this is a straight up just multiplication thing. The basic attack... 90 level 1s times 1 1.5 physical damage, 135. 60 level 3 times 2.2 .2 is 132. So if you can believe it, the level 1 fire ants do very, very slightly more damage compared to the level 3 group because of just there, there's no attack speed increase there. The sting is slightly different. The sting, um, if you take a look at the sting numbers on the left, the tier 3 is a bit higher. Uh, damage venom, 7, 10, 11 are the numbers for that. So 90 level 1 times 7 for the sting damage is 630. And then finally, 60 level 3 times 11 sting damage is 660. So there's a slight benefit. And this is probably one of the only exceptions. Uh, of reasons why you want to choose a level 3 ant and upgrade it over the level 1 ants, okay? So even even still, like the basic attack, <laughs> I was very surprised by this. Uh, level 1, a group of level 1 ant, uh, fire ants have slightly more t basic attack damage than the level 3. It, it was, it was mind-boggling. I wasn't expecting that. That was really interesting. So um, reasons why there, these are pros to not upgrading. Better map control. Having 90 ants as opposed to 30, you can spread these 90 ants out into groups. This group covers this, this group covers this. You just you can control more things with more ants. Also, more bodies for food hauling. Uh, uh, you know, if you've got 30 level 3 ants and you need to haul a bunch of food, it's better to have a whole bunch of ants doing it because it, whether you're level 1 or level 3, you're still going to carry so much food back. So it's just better to have more bodies for defense and for everything else. So um, there's also attrition to think about. There have been wars fought throughout history where numbers have actually won out against a superior 
uh, effective force. You know, the American Revolution. You know, there, there's there's a whole there's a whole string of you know battles throughout history that you know where the underdog typically wins, despite the fact that they've got no training, but because they've got more numbers, because they're able to do more things, um, and then they're just in this case more cost effective. The math shows it. It is more cost effective in most cases to not upgrade just because the numbers tend to work out. Now, there are some advantages to upgrading. I'm not saying there isn't. For example, lack of space. If your nest is very small and by digging something out, you're going to reveal nasty bad guys, that would be a reason to focus on upgrading because you just don't have space. Another reason is for population reasons. Uh, popul there's uh, upkeep in this game. You can toggle that off if you want to in the free play. But typically there's an upkeep, and when you go past that upkeep, ants become more expensive, and they get it's it's exponential. So you know one past the population upkeep is a little expensive, and then like ten past it is super expensive. You know what I mean? So it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So the upkeep is a reason why you would want to upgrade. When you hit your population cap, now that cost efficiency starts to go away from three to one. And, uh, you know, it'll start evening out and then to a point where upgrading is actually more cost effective. I'm not going to do the math on that. It's, a, you know, and then upgrade because you feel like it. Upgrade because you feel like it. Other factors to consider. Ant abilities, speed, and regen. I'm not going to worry too much about movement speed because typically when you're in battle, movement speed doesn't mean anything. I mean, you're, you're in battle, you're, you're, they fight to the death. Same with regen. Um, the Regen is kind of weird because, like, typically if you're in battle... You don't regen while you're in battle. You regen when you're out of battle. So um, the only reason regen would kick in is if you won the battle and your ant ran away. But typically ants fight to the death. So you're going to either you're going to win or die. Regen doesn't seem to really matter. It just doesn't mathematically. And then special ant abilities. Again, I'm not going to do the math because it's a game. It's a game, people. It's just a game. If you have to, I can't believe I'm making this video, but I just, I, I want a one and done thing. I want to make this video and I just want anyone that says in the future, you should upgrade. I'm just linking them this video because I'm, I'm tired of wasting my time explaining myself. I shouldn't have to. It's a game. It's a freaking game. So there you go, folks. Empires of the Undergrowth. Sorry, no gameplay today, but hopefully you learned something. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time. Take care.